Hey, it's a super rainy day today, but Excalibur and I made a little video for you guys on the way home today. Super rainy day, but I wanted to give Autopilot another try in the rain and let you see how it does, especially in a much more persistent rain like today. Go ahead and check out Weeble Investing and SoFi Investing. Use my referral links in the description. I'd appreciate it. Get right into the video. Check out Autopilot in the rain yet again. Okay, today we have much more intense and consistent rainfall, as you can tell from my windshield wipers, and it's been raining all day today here in Austin. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and give this another autopilot try. All right, I didn't have any trouble at all engaging autopilot. The wipers are on auto, as you saw, and um, Free hand here. Traffic slowing down up ahead. It's not having any trouble uh, adapting to that. I'm my travel distance. Let's see, my follow distance is set to three. Now I'm being cut off here by a white Mercedes and it kicked up a bunch of mist in front of me and the Tesla didn't do any crazy braking, which I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I probably would have slowed down a little bit. Uh, the Model 3 here decided to just keep plugging right along. Maybe it's because it noticed that that vehicle was going the same speed as me. Uh, or maybe it just didn't really notice the vehicle. I'll have to check the video and see um, if it turned that vehicle red or anything like that, like it would for a forward collision avoidance warning. I'm still having a great experience with not having to do very much to the wheel at all while I'm driving an autopilot. Just um, grip it with two fingertips whenever it uh, indicates that it needs driver input. And as you can see by my windshield wipers, this is still a persistent rain and autopilot is not having any trouble. We're coming up on a freeway ramp. Looks like it's gotten dark enough that uh, the screen has switched into night mode. Um, we're coming up on a ramp here and I'm gonna be curious to see what the uh, vehicle does in terms of slowing down to take this ramp at the correct speed. Let's check it out. Okay, it's dropping the speed down um, to about 60. The ramp is actually in better condition than the road was, uh, probably because it's pitched, uh, so a lot of that water is running off down to the lower areas. It's not as slick up here. And now that things have straightened out, it's speeding back up again. This is a 75 speed limit. So I'm gonna go ahead and bump my max speed up to 75 and just see what it does. You can tell over here it's detecting with the sonar, the, um, the cement barrier to the left of us. That's gone now. So we're still just tracking this vehicle in front. I am gonna to wanna to get out of this lane pretty soon because it ends up ahead, but there's a slower moving vehicle off to the left. So I'm gonna wait till I get past them. The mist from these other vehicles in front is, is pretty intense, but the road markings are pretty good in this area. There goes a uh, nice big truck. I'm gonna go ahead and change lanes. Now, when I grab the wheel and change lanes like that, you'll notice up here that it still says 70 max. That is cruise control. Cruise control is still working. That's traffic aware cruise control. But if I let go of the wheel, it's just gonna divert right out of the lane, although automatic lane keep assist would engage. So in order to re-engage autopilot, I'm gonna press down on the stock twice. 
you can see it immediately centers me in the lane, which is kind of a weird feeling for people who have never felt it before. And, um, and we're driving here. I'm gonna bump this back up to 75. It seems like it might have bumped it down to 70 for me automatically, maybe based on visibility, I'm not sure. Now uh, that happened at some point there when I was uh, switching over to change lanes and I'm going to do that again to change lanes again here because I got some slow moving traffic. As soon as I get into this lane where there's nobody going slowly in front of me, the speed starts ramping back up close to that 75 max that I've set and I'm going to go ahead and re-engage autopilot. And you can see that it's on auto lights and auto wipers. And we're not having any trouble. Okay, this vehicle wants to merge in front of me because there's a cop who's got somebody trying to help somebody. Yeah, okay. So the vehicle merging in front of me kicked up a bunch of mist and made the visibility really bad there and the vehicle wanted me to take over, which I did. So now I'm gonna go ahead and turn autopilot back on now that we're past that area. And the visibility is still not great, but um, the wipers have slowed down. I probably would still, there they go, they're picking back up again. I was gonna say, I probably would still have them on a higher setting. I'm gonna just show you what I do here. Two fingers, little flick, and bam. That's all it takes to keep autopilot engaged, as long as uh, the camera up top doesn't think that I'm uh, that I'm messing around and looking off to the side. If I start looking out the window, though, that thing will definitely beep at me. I'm gonna need to get in the right lane here to exit pretty soon. If I had full self-driving and navigate on autopilot, it would do this for me. But I'm gonna go ahead and do it myself, the old fashioned way with a blinker, and you saw the blinker cam come up there on the screen. Now I'm going to re-engage autopilot. It's on 80 max. It must think that the visibility is better than before. And I'm going to want to take this ramp on the right. So once again, I'm going to put my blinker on and merge. It used to fight you um, for control of the wheel. Oh, well, maybe that's not the case. Just the default resistance when you were trying to take it out of uh, auto steer used to be higher. Now I'm noticing that if you use your blinker and then you, um, you steer to take over and take it out of auto steer, it really does a, a nice job of letting you kind of seamlessly take over. Now I'm going 75 here and I'm curious to see if it's going to slow down. I don't think it will because I'm just on um, cruise control. I'm actually just going to take over right now and drive this ramp. This is one that I've, I've had an experience before where it tries to take this ramp a little too quickly and with vehicles in the outside lane here, if it messed up at all, I would, I would feel badly about um, freaking somebody else out in these slick conditions and possibly damaging my own vehicle. So now that I'm uh, past these other vehicles, I'll go ahead and re-engage autopilot. It's not having any trouble at all giving me the option to engage autopilot even in these conditions with the rain the way that it is. Wow, it's uh, kind of all over the road there. That's the first kind of scary experience that I've had. I'm gonna go ahead and slow down and take over. Um, it was really speeding up like it wanted to get up to 80, but then it was hunting for the, the lines on the road. And it actually did go over the lane line on the left slightly. So, I mean, you, you can use autopilot in these conditions, but you need to use it sparingly and you need to be very vigilant and very aware of uh, when the vehicle might struggle and just be ready to take over at a moment's notice. As you can see, the other vehicles on the road are um, appropriately going slower than the speed limit, which is 75 here. I'm going 70, 
in the middle lane here and some of these other vehicles are clearly going a little slower than that. Say bye to the um, to the white Model 3. And let's go ahead and try autopilot again. So it centers me in the lane. I have it set to speed limit plus some percentage um, whenever I put it in autopilot, which is why you see that 80 pop up on the screen here in the 75 mile an hour zone. But the visibility here is a little iffy. So I don't know, I'm not too comfortable with 80. I'm gonna dial that back down particularly because I'm noticeably going faster than the other people on the road. And uh, as Tesla knows, because sometimes they'll display a warning on the screen, uh, it's not very safe to be, to have a high delta or difference between your, t your speed and the speed of the other vehicles and the other lanes around you. That's a recipe for accidents, especially if somebody like decides to pull out in front of you or something like that. So you can see a lot of mist getting kicked up here. I think in that situation, the safest thing to do is to just increase follow distance. I just increased my follow distance to five car lengths to give a little bit of room between myself and the vehicles up ahead so that not as much of that mist is kicking up in front of the car and obscuring the cameras, which are right up in this area. So, that Nissan is not uh, having any trouble. I probably would not have any trouble either, um, particularly with the weight and the all-wheel drive uh, in this vehicle. I would not have any trouble, but just playing it safe here and testing out autopilot. As you can see, the visibility is still not great. This is a, a persistent rain. The wipers are speeding up accordingly. With the exception of that one autopilot issue, which really occurred when I was coming down off of an on-ramp and merging onto the freeway, and that lane was kind of merging with another lane, and the vehicle was hunting for where exactly it was supposed to be. That's really the only issue that I've had, um, except for when that vehicle kind of jumped in front and cut me off because he, uh, he saw the, the police lights up ahead. So uh, really impressed with Autopilot's ability to handle these conditions. This is probably the heaviest rain that I would try to use Autopilot in. It's doing just fine here right now. And as you can see, my hand is open, the vehicle's driving. It's not having any trouble detecting the lane lines and the mist doesn't seem to bother the cameras all that much as long as I leave the wipers on auto. Well, it's time for me to take over here and get to my destination. Thanks for following along. Be safe, use autopilot responsibly. That's what this video is all about. I'm not trying to do anything unsafe or um, show that autopilot can do party tricks. I'm just showing you how you can use autopilot safely even in rainy conditions and warn you about possible limitations, um, which you have seen a couple of in this video. So be aware of those things as you're out there using autopilot. Come back to the channel, subscribe if you feel like it. I appreciate it. See you in the next one. Y'all come back now, you hear?